we will start our discussion cost and variance measures this is the discussion broadly we will discuss what is a variance analysis what is a static and flexible budgeting how we make flexing direct material variance direct labor variance mix and yield variances overhead variance comprehensive example we'll do in the last of our discussion to know that we have grabbed the topics and in the last we will discuss these sale variances i will start my discussion what is a standard what is a budget and what is a various these are three important terms that we should be very clear we have two units for budgeting budgeting is forecasting looking forward you predict about one year two year or onwards as your organizational needs demands from you opposite we have standard costing that is based on a rational experienced uh, observations that what should be a standard cost standard material standard labor which you can determine on the based on your experiences when you produce some product so and variance is uh, in easy english we can say a, a difference difference of what we think as a budget Uh, while we were setting the budget we were foreseeing the next year next quarter and when we compare with actual we saw some differences these differences are called variances this is the first thing to start performance management being certified management accountants we are into certain things and the main thing is performance evaluations so how we see the performance first by using some very nice effective tools of making budgets then we start comparing with the actual and when we feel the differences we start investigating these budgets becomes the basis for responsibility centers responsibility accounting and everything move around these budgeting and actual results and variance analysis variance analysis gives a management a tool it's an effective tool to start looking towards the planning execution delivery and post evaluations this is a really effective tool and all financial controllers cfos they are all, they are always concerned about variance analysis because variance shows that there is a performance leakage or there is a lack of performance it may be in planning it can it can be because of internal factors it can be for the external factors so in this course uh, our cma course we will focus on cost variances and when we study the costing chapters you will know that cost is three components one is material labor and overhead so we'll discuss cost variances we'll see the labor variances and we will see the overhead variances opposite we'll see the sales so sales variances will also be discussed and if you are working in an accounts department and you are familiar with chart of account so in practical way you can take your chart of account and you can see the budgets and then you can see the actuals so you can calculate multiple variances you can go to any depth of uh, the variances if you are using oracle it has 7 8 levels like uh, you can go to the uh, micro level to the macro level uh, variance analysis we will confine ourselves for cost and sale variances but for any variance the logic will remain always the same
So when we set variances, first we see the standards. Standards are the criterions. These are the benchmarks that uh, for measuring the performance. And these are budgeted unit cost established to motivate optimal productivity and efficiency. So standard is just not an average of the past. It is a very rational, prudent, practical, experience that tells you that how much it should cost for example if you're McDonald's when you sell a burger based on your past experiences you can see how much it cost you so you make that experience as setting the cost uh, through using the standard costing concepts standard can be done in two ways should we use ideal standards for example if you want to do CMA you are thinking today that you will now study CMA and it will be a full-time study you will not watch movie you will not watch you will not talk to any friend you will not go for outing you will not go for um, out dinners you will not meet to relatives and you will just study study when you will not go to the office you know. this is this seems practically not possible because um, uh, we we can focus on CMA with our limited resources we go office we need to meet people we are doing a certain jobs so ideally if I say I will study 24 hours our CMA that's practically not possible so there are two ways one is practical standards and one is ideal standard in manufacturing if you have a machine you are the owner of this machine and you know this machine is a fixed cost you have incurred this and you once this machine will run you will get money out of that so you will recover your fixed cost so as a manufacturer you want to run your machine 24 hours right but you have to see that do you have enough sales do you have enough demand for this manufacturing things if yes then it's okay but most of the time it's not so you will be you will not be able to produce 24 hours right so we have to see what is the practicality of the situation generally practical standards work as more effective and efficient but nevertheless ideal standards are also important uh, to boost up the the morale motivation of the employees so you have to see what is the situation and in that situation we will use these techniques to move forward I'll start our discussion the first concept that we have is flexible budget variance first of all I should explain you what is the concept of flex Flex word means that you take your actual quantity and you multiply with these standards. Not quantity, let's do it, that you you want to compare two things. For example, I, I make a budget for one year and I want to compare it after one month. Ideally, I cannot compare 12 months activity with one month because it's not logical. So I have to do this flexing means I have to take Take the actual quantity and I have to compare with the standards that I set that is called flexi flexing or flexible budgeting so if you have one column called actuals one column called standards so I need an extra column in between that will be called as flexible budget that will take actual quantity and a standard price from this side that is the simple concept it's not that difficult it's just flexing you have to understand for any kind of variance analysis we need flexing because flexing will make things comparable by assuming the actual quantity multiply with the standard price this is all is the same written it says a flexible budget variance is the difference between the actual results and the budgeted amount for the actual activity levels 
Our flexible budget consists on the cost that should have been incurred given the actual level of the production. So we take actual and we, ta we ta take the standard and we multiply and we get our flex. For flexing, standard cost should be established.